Hey everyone, it's Ruth Stern and today's video is learning how to develop a simple but powerful spiritual practice. So, you know, the word spirituality is thrown around a lot and it can get confusing. There are really hundreds of definitions of spirituality, but I'm going to use this one from Michael Beckwith because I think it's so beautiful and it encompasses a lot. And I'm going to read it to you and I hope it has the same kind of deeper meaning that I got out of it for you as well. So here's his definition. Spirituality is waking up to a dimension of your soul or your being. It is the most real part of you. And when you're into that real dimension of your being, you bump into love, beauty, real peace and joy. And that begins to be where you live from. You live as your authentic being with having a tremendous amount of meaning in life. You begin to notice what you have in your life that you are grateful for. When you look at your life through a lens of gratitude, you don't see many obstacles or hindrances. You see more possibilities, more potential, and you become an open vehicle for more inspiration, more wisdom, and more guidance coming from that spiritual part of you. Don't you love that? It just it lit me up when I heard him describe that spirituality. So for you or your clients coming in, and most of our lives, all of us, have had a tendency to live our lives to not be who we are. We're told, don't be like that. Or we come up with the idea, I need to be more like him, and I have to have her success. Or I have to wear her size dress or look like him, whatever. And so we spend hours and years literally learning not to be who we are. And then we wonder why we're in a state of confusion and aloneness when we get stuck in our problems. So if you're stuck in things like, I don't know what business to be in, I don't even know if I'm building the right business or I'm going for the right career, or I can't stay in commitments and relationships, whatever that is, when you're in touch with the authentic part of you, the answers come. You will know what to do, where to go, the direction to take. And that's why spiritual practice is so important in our lives. So Elizabeth Lesser, who's a uh, author and she's also one of the co-founders of um, one of the biggest training institutes in New Jersey for self-development, the Omega Institute, had a really great little formula for how to build a spiritual practice. So the first step that she talks about is to build a meditation practice because you know that in meditation that's where you can go quiet and within and when you're quiet that's when you can get the answers and get your guidance and you make it simple you start with one minute a day if you're not doing it at all that's it and allow yourself just to go within and listen just listen for guidance and you do one minute for a month the second month you add two minutes the third year three and by the end of the year, you're at 12 minutes a day and you have a full practice. Now certainly you can adjust this to what you want, but it's a way to simply lean into the practice of going within. And then the second part of the practice is looking at every problem that you have as a learning, as a gift that what if you looked at every problem that you had as something to learn from? Because when you tune into a problem or a pattern that you've been experiencing that you're very frustrated with and you look for the gift or the lesson, you will become free because then you'll know, ah, oh, this is what I need to know in order to shift my experience so I don't keep repeating the same thing. And the third part of your spiritual practice is to find a spiritual community. For some people that's your church or synagogue. For some people it's a group of like-minded people like the Law of Attraction groups. Any spiritual minded group where you have people who think and want to share like you, who can help you grow, who can uplift you and keep your spiritual practice going. 
Because one thing I do know, that anything you practice religiously, you immerse yourself, even if it's just for a few minutes, makes a huge difference in your growth, in your happiness, and in magnetizing ultimately what you want in life. So hopefully, these were principles that you were helpful to you, and you can already institute immediately. I wish you a great spiritual path.